Hi, Casey Christine here with Sovereign Temples, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about this temple space and why some of you are having such incredible experiences with some of the meditations or affirmations or sound healings. So this is really all about um, using, they call it a, a newly emerging field of human potential technology, but really it's ancient. Psychoacoustics for the golden ages, which I believe we're coming back into a golden age, um, with all my heart, the sound healing temples were used to really bypass um, a lot of resistance initially. Now I'm not talking about we can get away from going through uh, what our soul has chosen for us to go through for um, coming back into remembrance that we are already whole. So whatever healing journeys um, we have chosen through challenges, traumas, um, etc but to really help assist in leveraging um, that or seeding in assistance at a very somatic cellular level, subconscious level, so then you can consciously deal with it um, better. <laughs> so psychoacoustics is really the study um, of sound, language, and music, and its effects on the brain and mind, right? They say you could get rid of all of your problems if you would just get rid of your mind, because the heart <laughs> would then be able to come through clearly to you. You, but our brain is, you know, our supercomputer, and we can program the brain to carry out anything we want. Um, and psychoacoustics really helps the left and right hemisphere come together more. So the left hemisphere really wants to analyze um, logic, reason. The right hemisphere is going to be more intuition, images, um, you know, it's not looking, it's looking to have the experience and en enjoy <laughs> versus trying to analyze it. And so I always invite everyone, no matter what you're listening to with Sovereign Temples or any of my offerings, to just allow yourself to have an experience without expectations and analyze it later. Um, and the reason I use so many images really specific to what I'm talking about or to the frequency that is on a sound healing is to assist. Many are not... Um, are not right hemisphere and they um, have forgotten how to use their psychic center of their third eye. Everyone has it. Um, everyone can activate it. It's, it's truly just using your imagination. It's very active when we're children and society, it slowly gets dwindled. And so all of my offerings um, and the images that I use are very intentional. Um, some of them can then build on top of each other, but it is so that you can then have an image to use when you're actually then maybe going through a meditation or some of the common themes on my channel, um, our DNA, our, you know, synapses, neurotransmitters, all the things that have to do with assisting us in overriding viral programs with our divine genome um, that is dormant in all of us, that can be activated, that exist as perfect health and is just perfect. It's of our higher self. It is divinity within us we are fully human and fully divine and we do have free will and so until we make a conscious choice to activate that um, it does lie dormant however for those many do not meditate or take the time to close their eyes and go within because they don't see something. If they can't see it, they don't think they can visualize. Um, or if they have racing thoughts, they don't think that they're meditating. Or if they're being guided on a meditation and their thoughts start to wonder, then they're not, you know, meditating effectively. 
A, just like going to the gym and lifting something takes time to build a new muscle, this does too. And just you going to the gym, no matter how much or how little you're doing, just by going is developing the habit of going. Just by listening to, you know, alpha, theta, delta, gamma, um, you know, frequency, my dog's in the background hanging out (laughs) you'll hear him pitter pattering Um, I have to escape when I do my meditations but this is just chit chatting and there's hummingbirds everywhere but the just idea of if you're willing to hit play on higher frequencies that will assist you with recalibrating through what is proven to happen through sound and music right sound and music can it's why what's one of the biggest ways to change what you're watching sound and music you want it to be happy add something happy happy music you want it to feel grim and daunting people change that with music it talks to your cells and so a lot of my offerings are just straight music with images and nothing else it's because i know that your higher self has the ability to assist you with whatever it is that you need to remember and my words would just get in the way then there is yes taking time to bridge the left and right hemisphere through explaining something or logic and really then what really helps is if you have some images fresh in your mind and then you close your eyes and you can still just reference again it's, it doesn't matter if you see the 2d or 3d structure if you can just remind i mean close your eyes think about someone that you really love right now that maybe you haven't seen in you know the last four hours <laughs> can you picture what that person looks like some yes can see 2d 3d very clearly in their mind a majority of people can't right? Until they intentionally activate it. But using your imagination to start to see images again, especially within your body and rebuilding new pathways is so powerful. Now, in a lot of our affirmations, that's why I have sometimes just music and then um, (laughs) a lot of the um, visuals in these videos. And then a lot of times in affirmations, you hear me say willing a lot. I know somebody was annoyed before with the willing, but here's why. Some things that are are so ingrained in us or our viral programming is so strong. When we say I am, and then the affirmation follows, what's really happening is our consciousness is like, nope, subconscious, you're not taking that in. I'm the watchman at the gate. This is a lie. And that's really the true belief that's going in is that I'm saying this, but it's a lie. Now, I don't know about anyone who's not willing to have better health, have more prosperity, (laughs) have uh, more joy, more peace, right? For something that they might not be able to fully conceive yet. But when you say, I am willing then your subconscious is able to receive it because your conscious mind is not blocking it and your subconscious mind is like oh yeah i'm i'm receiving this i'm receiving this right like i'm willing yes and then being willing actually raises you just from being doubtful To move from like fear or doubt into a willingness state of mind, you you jump so much on the the vibrational frequency at a at a cellular level, (laughs) like of what your auric field becomes from a willingness. That means you're open and you're not closed. If you think that what you're saying is a lie, you're closing and your channel, your Shakti, your Kundalini energy, your life force gets blocked. And so that's why a lot of times if I feel like something is is maybe really a challenge to believe, it will be willing. I still do a lot of I am affirmations. I develop programs that I have um, a lot of subconscious affirmations in there now once it's subconscious and the conscious mind can't get in the way and block it because the subconscious just takes what it can receive um, as truth right and but again when you hear i am 
wealthy, I am rich. If you don't think that that's true at the at your core belief, when you're stating that, you're actually communicating, I'm not though, this is a lie. And that's what's being received by your subconscious. But if I bypass your conscious mind completely and make it low enough to where your conscious can't hear it, your subconscious will receive the I am prosperous, I am wealthy, I am healthy affirmations. I'm going to start loading those on my channel. I will always list out what is being um, programmed essentially every single time you are listening to something make no mistake, you are programming yourself. But I will always list out exactly what is in a audio track that might sound like there's nothing on it, but that it has um, supra audible, meaning just slightly um, hear it or completely inaudible to your consciousness, but your subconscious will be able to hear it. Um, I will always, always, always say what that is because I honor sovereignty and free will is the highest um, levels of, of how I, I treat anyone that is number one is sovereignty and honoring people's own free will and so you know I would never want anyone to listen to something and program their self with something right I know our, our governments and our institutions do that I do not and this temple space will always tell you if it is a subconscious reprogramming affirmation um, you know and it will list out what it is that you are listening to but I have many offerings but again it's just sound there's there's nothing other than sound as sound is one of the most easiest ways to elevate ourselves um, for healing if anyone's going through anything please you know shut out things that are anything other than empowering and and just play sound just high vibrational sound listening to you know music that has things that we don't want to create in our life but we're singing it yeah <laughs> i mean you can go ahead but i would ne i never sing anything that an artist has created if i don't want to create it in my life taylor swift songs ladies if you're singing them and you're not in a fantastic relationship that might be why <laughs> like it's you have to become this just steward of what is in your mind now i still love listening to music that i don't necessarily agree with but i make sure because i know the power of my voice and my word becomes flesh um, that if i sing something i actually change the words into it being something thriving and positive i i do not like to speak anything that goes against myself and i i just am really becoming a good steward of my words and not trespassing against myself so I just wanted to, um, for those of you that are enjoying the channel and listening, I just wanted to put that out there about the offerings for the meditations. I always call upon everyone's higher self um, to assist me. So if you're feeling or you're seeing things like light or you're like really feeling like profound experiences within your cells, that's not me. Um, that is your higher self, right? Because we're invoking your higher self. So that's what you're feeling. You're feeling the communion with you. It, I'm creating a collective space with you for us to go there, but it's still your higher self that is offering those healing transmissions that you're feeling um just the profound um exp for those of you that are really having these profound experiences you know reaching out that that is what that is that's not me that's your higher self um and that's why it's so yummy no one can <laughs> no one can offer you a transmission like your higher self and that's what this temple space is dedicated to is to using the ancient wisdom of the sound temples plus all the things that we have access to now the technology right to then broadcast it the images all of that 
for assisting those of us that are activating our light body technology and our divine crystalline genome and light body technology is really just again an, another word for like our, our higher self DNA so that's what's going on on this channel I appreciate um, those of you who have reached out and asked some questions and I just wanted to offer that clarification um, around yeah what it is that we're doing so but obviously don't want to have this in all my videos so this will be a separate one that I can uh, just attach and uh, namaste I'll see you guys on the channel all my love and light